Hey guys, this is Apex War. I uh, just got into Rise of Iron and I uh, wanted to check out what the vendors have for us. A uh, new stockpile here with the uh, Rise of Iron. So, I wanted to show you guys what the best weapons I found here was. And these are some of these are just you gotta have. The first one here I want to show you the palindrome. It doesn't look like much up front, but when you get into it, you'll see that this gun is actually pretty amazing. Now right now in the Crucible, uh, range is king when it comes to hand cannons. And um, this gun has about as much range as a scout rifle. As you see here with the rifled barrel on there, it's already got a great base range to it. So when you add in rifled barrel and range finder on top of that, you have a range master here. Just to compare it to my Hawkmoon here, now it's got a little bit less base than the Hawkmoon, but when you factor in that rifle barrel and rangefinder on top of that, you're not going to find a hand cannon, I don't think, with any more range than this thing has. Now going over the first row here, spray and play is a great first perk to have. It's either that or mulligan. Uh, so spray and play gets you that fast reload on an empty mag. So this gun is going to be very good for the crucible for you hand cannon guys. Next weapon I want to get into over here is uh, the sniper rifle. Event Horizon. I'm going to go over to my uh, thousand yard stair here. The reason why I'm doing this is I want to compare it. And you see that it's got more impact than the thousand yard stair. So this will uh, one shot on uh, revives, it will one shot on uh, supers. So that's what makes this gun awesome. Uh, it's also got hidden hand to tote, uh, explosive rounds and small bore. Um, and of course, spray and play in that first row. Spray and play is probably going to what, uh, what you're going to want to use. Since you only got three in the mag, spray and play is going to be pretty handy there. But this gun will one shot those supers if that's what you're looking for. So this is a very high impact uh, sniper rifle. Now it's got short gaze and a couple other long range um, sights, so the short gaze is probably going to be what you want to use. Heading over to the Future War Cult vendor. I want to show you guys another hand cannon. Now this one I don't really foresee being uh, the PvP type hand cannon I showed you with the uh, Crucible Quartermaster. This thing is going to be a PvE beast. Firefly. Need I say more? You can get a hand cannon with Firefly from the vendor. Hammer Forge, another pretty good perk, but hey, Firefly, that's what this gun's about. Awesome to have a, a vendor Firefly hand cannon. The other gun here from this vendor that I want to show you guys is the Scout Rifle, the Wounded. What I really like about this here is it's got really awesome base range, uh, decent base stability. But what I really like about it is Zen Moment uh, for that stability when you cause damage with perfect balance or Outlaw. Either of those are going to be really great options. and. Uh, high caliber rounds. So this will be able to stagger your targets. Uh, you'll be able to hit uh, consistently with the Zen moment kicking in and perfect balance. Uh, if you don't want to use perfect balance, Outlaw is still another great perk to use with it. Back to the fight. Going over to the next vendor here, the Dead Orbit Guy. Now what I'm excited about from this guy is uh, this scout rifle here, Keystone 01. What I like about this is the triple tap with extended mag on it and crowd control. So uh, just going through the different scopes there, crowd control. The triple tap and extended mag is really going to extend your, uh, your magazine size and 
I find that it's going to be really helpful with PvE, especially with crowd control in there. So I feel like this is going to be a strong PvE weapon. So something to keep in mind with the uh, Dead Orbit Vendor. The next thing I want to show you guys, and you'll probably see it a lot in the Crucible in the coming weeks, is this shotgun. Last Ditch 001. Now I'm going to equip my party crash here so you guys can see the comparison. As you see the impact is identical. Now my party crasher I have the range maxed out on it and last ditch 001 is not far from that. And uh, with range finder and hammer forged I uh, should make up most of that difference as well as uh, switching barrels. So uh, soft ballistics is the one you want to go with. So those three combined should get you very close to max range on the shotgun, but what makes this particularly awesome is quick draw. You all know how many times you get charged at by a shotgunner. You wish you could pull your shotgun out on time. This quick draw is going to be what makes this gun. I mean, along with the impact in uh, close to max range, that quick draw is going to be deadly. Now the last uh, vendor I'm going to go to is the Vanguard Quartermaster. I didn't really find much with the new Monarchy guy. I just want to let you guys know up front. So I didn't. I'm not going to show any weapons from them. They they have good weapons, just nothing that I thought was phenomenal. Now what I want to show you guys here is Angel's Advocate Scout Rifle. There's a lot of good scout rifles with these vendors uh, in Rise of Iron. As you see here, you've got the Outlaw Reactive Reload Combo. Really nice. We've seen it on hand cannons. Uh, excited to see how it performs on a scout rifle. I think it'll do perfectly fine. I, you know, it'll be just as good on a scout rifle as on a hand cannon. And here in the middle, you've got small bore and explosive rounds. And last but not least, this might be one of my favorite guns that I've come across so far. Uh, the machine gun that is going to be as badass as its name suggests, the Bone Crusher. Now don't be scared by its low stability right there. You will see with the uh, perks you will make that up. You actually make it up a little bit here with the linear compensator. So you get a little bit of range out of it, a, li a little bit of stability. Uh, crowd control, that's awesome on a machine gun. I love having that on a machine gun. Hand laid stock, that's going to solve your stability problems. There will be no stability problems with this gun with hand laid stock on there. And of course, lost range from hand laid stock is going to be made up from the linear compensator barrel. And in the first row, the first row is also loaded with a couple pretty good perks here. Feeding Frenzy. So this combination here, crowd control, hand laid stock, and feeding frenzy with this gun is going to be amazing. So uh, just a few weapons here to uh, get your guys' attention on. I'd highly suggest picking one of these weapons up, if not a few this week. So uh, hit the like and subscribe buttons below. I'll be bringing in some more uh, weapon reviews and uh, some, you know, just new stuff from uh, Rise of Iron. So stay tuned for that, and thanks for watching, guys.